Where do you get your protein? Hi, I'm Paul from Hench Herbivore. I'm a personal trainer and nutritionist. I've been training for 30 years, the last seven of which have been as a vegan. So at this point, my muscles are made entirely from plants. At one point, I was probably consuming more animal products than anyone else you've ever met. I would eat my way through a 10 kilogram box of chicken breasts and guzzle down 42 pints of milk each week. I'd cram in lots of tuna and eggs and the odd steak and wash it all down with copious amounts of whey protein. Then, after learning of the deleterious health effects of eating animal products and the fact that eating anything but whole plant foods is the major cause of death and disability in the West, I decided to ditch all the animal products and processed junk. To my amazement, not only did it bring my blood pressure down to an optimal level, it cured my hay fever, tendonitis, doubled the strength of my eyesight, and boosted my sports performance. We have been so lied to for so long that people are often shocked that I don't eat animal products. But veganism is rapidly growing in popularity among strength athletes. Kendrick Farris was the only American male to qualify to compete in weightlifting at the last Olympics, where he set a new record for his country. Not only that, but during trials, he has lifted more weight in all the lifts combined than any other athlete in his entire nation. Strongman Patrick Baboumian has set three world records since going vegan. The world's most prestigious bodybuilding federation, the IFBB, is now home to several vegan pro bodybuilders, one of whom, Nimai Delgado, has never eaten meat in his life, and fellow competitor Jahina Malik, she's been vegan since birth. Three years ago, my training partner was one Mr. Barney Duplessis, who at the time was the reigning Mr. Universe. He was delighted to report several health and performance benefits as they mounted up week by week after his switchover to eating a plant-based diet. At this point, there are relatively few vegans in the world, but already there are world-class vegan athletes in virtually every sport. The highly alkalizing, nutrient-dense food means that the vegan athlete will enjoy better energy, faster recovery, and less training days lost due to sickness. Intestinal contents will be lighter, the transit time of whole plant foods through the human body is a mere 12 to 16 hours. Omnivorous eaters can feel like they're passing stool regularly, but are generally in fact running four to five days late due to the lack of fiber in their diets. Studies suggest that on average, vegans have higher amounts of protein available with which to build muscle. Endotoxins that always contaminate meat mean that a great deal of the protein is used up having been turned into C-reactive protein by the liver to help quell the inflammation. A healthy vegan diet is full of nitrate-rich foods such as leafy greens and beetroot. Nitrates transformed into nitric oxide by the body have the effect of vasodilation, improving blood flow and the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to working muscles, as well as the elimination of waste products. The types of fats found in animal products cause vasoconstriction, which of course, has all of the opposite effects. With all of these benefits and more, I am often asked why more athletes are not eating this way. I put it down to the number one question fired at vegans. Where do you get your protein? What people fail to realize is that the amino acids that comprise protein are only made by plants. We and other animals merely recycle them. When we ingest any food containing protein, our digestive systems break it down into its constituent amino acids before it enters our bodies through the wall of the small intestine. From there, we take these building blocks and shape them into whichever of the two million proteins our bodies require. Contrary to popular belief, there are no incomplete proteins in the plant kingdom, there is no need to protein combine at each meal, and it is very easy to get adequate amounts of protein on a plant-strong diet. Anybody disagreeing with this is basically regurgitating misinformation from the February 75 issue of Vogue magazine and would do well to update their knowledge. If you've enjoyed this video and you feel as though it may be of benefit to others, why not help grow our wonderful community by sharing it out on your social media and together we'll help inspire everybody to go vegan for victory.